Good morning, guys. Today is Monday morning. Ada is not feeling too good. I caught a cold from the cold um, in that apartment and um, and uh, the road with the wind when you open the window. You know, you're driving. The weather changed between state to state. Mm. Rain, I got wet. I had to take the polar plunge, okay, in that dirty Raritan River water. And uh, I was glad when I got here to take a complete hot shower, guys, <laughs> with alcohol and everything, you name it, guys. <laughs> Antibacterial soap, oh, everything, guys. Oh, my God. So I've been under the weather, guys, since I got here, and um, today I'm feeling a little better. I, I was a lizard on there, and over here I have a little friend that sits there at night. Uh, it's a little froggy. It's a little frog. <laughs> so cute. Oh, yeah, guys. It's sunny. Okay, but only for a little bit. Sun comes up and then it goes down. And then you can see the clouds. That's the east, guys. Okay, that's the east. So, it drizzle, okay? On and off it will drizzle. Yeah, beautiful sun. I'm standing out here because I need a little bit of sun to beat this cold. I've been taking antibiotics and um, cough medicine. So, and Tylenol, because I was like kind of running a fever. I just feel the fever. I, I had a fever. And um, I just sweat it all out. I bundled up and probably, oh, look at that bird on top of the little pole. <laughs> look, can you see that, guys? Look at that, guys. <laughs> ah, I tell you, nature out here is a, a, um, a stress reliever. Ain't that cute? That is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, guys, there is a there is a plane. It's gonna land. It's gonna land. Okay. Welcome back, guys. If you're new to channel, I want to thank the ones uh, for your prayers. Okay, uh, safety travels. That really helped me a lot. I was trying to beat um, Virginia. I want to thank um, Grinding Towards My Best Life. This is the second time that I travel down here driving. And she always offers that if I need a place to stay or something, that I can always stop at her house. Um, I didn't because uh, it was like six to seven hours that it took us from, from start one to try to pass Virginia. Due to the weather that was on the forecast, we didn't want to get, you know, um, um, in the snow and it was already raining and whatnot. So uh, we tried to beat Virginia and uh, we have still had rain all the way down through, but we made it safely. We slept um, as, you know, <laughs> it was uh, just throw your foot, feet up in the dashboard and Bella did very good. The rest stops and gas stops, they have um, areas for doggy poop and bags. I mean, we had our own, but, you know, it was good to, you know, very good with animals when you're traveling. And um, so she did beautifully, and she slept. <laughs> she was the most comfiest one in the, in the vehicle. And thank God that during that flood and this car, um... Being on the water, what saved this vehicle was that water did not go into her muffler, okay? Um, I don't know how because um, I had to get into that. I had to get into that brown puddle of water because to get to the car and see you know, how high the car was. It was not visible through a window. Um, and that's the parking spots for those complexes that she lives on. And the Raritan River, um, that was like the second time that it happened since she lived there. 
but she was working nights. And by the time she got home uh, about 10 in the morning or whatnot, the water had already resided. But this time, um, she wasn't working because she gave her two weeks notice and transfer and all of that stuff. You know? So it's going to take some months to, uh, for that to go through. Uh, meanwhile, she'll do odds and ends of Uber Eats, Instacart, DoorDash, whatever, you know, um, uh, she does. She uh, she has access to all that. She used to do it before when she used to get bored and be at home. She used to head out and just, you know, make a couple of bucks. So that'll help her because she got hella bills. I mean, this child has hella bills and mama got hella bills too. So, um, uh, she's got her car payment. She's got her insurance, which is high because she's, she has a car payment. You know the insurance is higher. Uh, her phone, which she downgraded to what she had. Um, and uh, I guess all the personal bills, I don't know. Um, so she's going to be doing that to meet her bills, okay? And I, I am limited to my bills. So I was I was going through this app this morning, just popped up on the phone, and I was uh, thinking, I'm like, you know, this studio here, okay, first to start off, it's nice, okay, for one person or work, I think this is like for a working person, because due to that, I don't have a living room, and... And she said that because of two points in my credit, I wasn't accepted into another one that had the living room, the one bedroom, the, the kitchen, a nice kitchen, and then a divider um, with a counter that you could see the whole huge living room with balconies, sliding doors, and everything for the same price that I'm going to be paying here, twelve fifty, guys, twelve fifty for this. I think it's like a six hundred square feet. Um, this is more for a working person. So I think it was hard for her to rent this out than to put me into a nice place. So she came up with the mess that I needed like two points to be approved for other ones that I liked. And so, you know, we didn't check the credit. My son has access to my credit. He didn't check either. He went by her word. And... I went by what they were telling me. It's like it's impossible. It's impossible. You know, anything under six hundred, um, they don't really consider you. But anything over six hundred is good. And um, I was way past that. And I checked when I after I had myself situated and relaxed and whatnot and did a lot of thinking and I said, well, you know, this is this this is this is very small for me. But the good thing about it is that I could take walks and move around and sit outside. So my living room basically consists of outside, if the weather permits, for a little while. A while at a time, I would say. Um, and uh, I was looking, and um, the credit that they asked for, I said, that's nothing compared to what I have. So I guess she kind of gypped us into taking this and not putting me into, because this is her own property. Um, she owns multiple properties. So it was easier to say that and rent this out for her benefit and not for another uh, owner's um, benefit. So I think that's why I winded up in here and not into what I saw this morning all around these nice areas up in here and all over. I saw various huge, I mean so huge, I just want to scratch my head. I just want to rip a tree off the, off the ground if, if I could. And I just got in here, it's going to be a year. Once my daughter gets herself situated and starts rolling with the money and her job, months, um, we're comfortable. And she's out and about um, doing her thing for the next month. So 
it takes a lot when you start new, start fresh. And it was not planned. I had nothing saved up. There was no way in heck I could anyway, anyway save up in New Jersey. Everything was high. The rent was high. Plus, I was renting room to room, room to room. Never got my security back. Freezing my buns to um, living in a uh, four by six, uh, I would say. My, the storage I had was bigger than the bedrooms that I rented. Um, I, it was a bad experience. I went, I suffered a lot, guys. Um, until my son showed up over there and saw where I was sleeping at, and he was shocked. Like, mom, never, never. Well, things happen, you know, things happen. With the electrical sub issue I had, the fire department told me I could not stay there. What was I supposed to do, guys? Fight the fireman and the code enforcement guys? I couldn't do that. So I never got any security deposit back from there either. And I, I left my sofa living room. I just finished paying for my sectional living room and other things. And I left it all behind. I just had my clothes in my back. So it's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to absorb all that I, that I went through. It's like, damn, why am I being whipped so hard? But I think it was because I needed a change for myself. Um, and then I, I had to fly back. I, I just had a bad feeling. I had to fly back, and y'all saw. I mean, y'all didn't see all of it, okay? Y'all didn't see all of it. If I showed what was to show you, which I not. Um, but you can imagine with the little bit that you saw, it was very bad. And sometimes you don't tell anyone. You don't reach out to anyone because sometimes people will say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that and whatnot and whatnot, but they don't help. So she was in that predicament. All the friends let her down. The ones she went all out and, out and about for them. Her coworkers uh, texted her down the way they were missing her already and whatnot and whatnot. They, they communicated, so that's a good thing. And she has a couple of friends down here. Um, very uh, older, 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 um, and they give her advice, and they'll be trying to help her too. So that's a good thing that she's not like she doesn't have anyone else out here. She has a few friends, older folks, but it's best to deal with older folks because they can give you true advice than the young ones. Okay, so it'll take time, but we're you know she's much better. And I'm much better. She's getting lots of rest. She needs it. She's been going, she went through. It's a nice job and all, and they're paying them big bucks. But even that, her rent was $1,500, guys, living in a, in a slum landlord, okay? I mean, when you rent, you don't know the landlord. They make it look so pretty, but... You find out down the down the down the line, and that's not some landlord. And some guy showed up over there. We was taking her clothes out to the vehicle. About ooh, Spanish guy with a suit and a long coat and boots and whatnot. Oh, um, you live here? I said no. I, I came from Florida to help my daughter drive down. And my daughter said, I'm moving out. It's all because I need to speak to you in about two and a half weeks. She said, well, you, whatever you need to speak to me about, you need to speak to me right now because I am moving out. And he said, oh, I bought the property. I bought all this here. I bought all, all that house over there. They all have to move out. He didn't introduce himself or nothing. My daughter signaled to me. <coughs> Don't give no info out because she didn't introduce himself and... <coughs> She communicated herself with the landlord itself, and he didn't even answer the phone. He just spoke about it. she was moving out, and that was it. <coughs> he did give her part of the security back, but it wasn't much. They kept most of it, and she was living in those conditions. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, but my asthma has kicked in with the cold I have, but it's much better than what it was. And maybe because I'm out here getting this breeze, 
So I'm going to let you go, guys. Just to give you a heads up, I will stay connected as much as I can. And thank you all, guys, for accompanying me down the long ride. And all the prayers. Okay? And all of you. Love you all, okay? So I will stay connected, guys. And thank you again. I mean, y'all awesome. Y'all are all awesome. I can't complain about my family community channel. You are awesome, okay? And it can happen to anyone, okay? I would be there for you, too. So, thanks to the new subscribers, the ones that came over from another channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate y'all, okay? I will stay connected with y'all channels, and um, and I'll keep you updated as I move along and things um, get better, okay? Um, uh, today, it looks like it's going to rain. Um, there is rain in the forecast, sunny, but it drizzles on and off. So, I'm not going to take my walk this morning because I don't feel good. Yesterday was cold when I went to PetSmart to take Bella shopping. <laughs> oh my god, she, 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 she is so happy. I've never seen her walk so fast. She walks faster than me. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. But it's because my daughter used to walk her more over there. Because I had to carry her. <laughs> She wouldn't walk for me. She would walk a half a block and lay down right on the sidewalk like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but she she did, she's, she's doing very good. So I'm not going to take her walking today because her hair paws are white and the trimmer is in the vehicle. Um, we have to get a couple of things out of there still. And as we were bringing in, we were accommodating. So we went in and got those um, uh, plastic drawers that they have at Walmart and so that she could put her clothing away and I have them in bags you know you gotta get dressed and go you can't find your undies or socks because you gotta go through bags so we got four of them and she was able to put most of her stuff in there and what she does not gonna use I gave her a spot in the closet and I just, I just made cubby holes here under the bed wherever I can put stuff that I don't even use um, like um, under the bed like piano under the bed and whatnot and um Gave her half of the closet. Well, it's a small closet. It's not even big. So everything got accommodated pretty good. We are comfortable. I put some curtains up in the bedroom uh, inside. They're see-through, but they have the, the light beige. Uh, I got it for $4.90 something at Walmart, too. Uh, due to the fact that in the daytime, that it'd be very bright in there. And I said, you know, I need to sleep. <laughs> And you can open them up once you wake up. You open up the curtains and you got the brightness back in again. So it's okay. Oh, and the tension rod because you can't make no holes in here. It'll go away, B. So, um, so yeah, guys, okay? So we're making it work. We're comfortable. She's relaxing. It's more stressful, I think, for her than for me because at least I have an income that I can pay you the rent. And get through with whatever is left but not for her that she has to wait for a job okay it's more harder for her so we'll make it work guys okay I know she's she's just like me she's a hustler she works hard she does what, whatever needs to be done okay until the job goes through she will do her little odds and ends just to make those bills meet okay um, and I haven't got my van back yet. It's at my son's house. So I know on the weekend they're out and about and whatnot. So I don't bother them on the weekend. Uh, today I'll go this afternoon, this evening. We'll go to pick up my van. And since I'm sick, I'll just tell them just, just leave the keys inside the van. I'll catch you another day. <laughs> so yeah, guys. The only one sick is me in here. But just a fool. So, guys, um, thank you for watching. And lots of hearts and hugs to all of you. And I will see you again soon. Okay, guys. Um, there is a park that I want to go to. Maybe we'll stop by later. Just so she can walk around the park and kind of de-stress the mind. 
because I know what it is when you relocate and you have so much going on with your job and the money, you know, the money was there to coming to not having it for some period of time. That's all a process. When you go to criminal justice college and that's what you, your field is involved in, um, it's a long process, okay? So it's going to take some months. Uh, but anyway, it's there, at least, um, and um, we'll make it work, guys, we'll make it work, so thank you guys, okay, for watching, look at the palm tree, isn't that beautiful, but it does get chilly, I, I got a long sleeve, oh yeah, and I got a t-shirt, I got a t-shirt under this one, yeah, uh, and I still feel cold, so I'm going to get later on, when she wakes up, um, the trimmer, and trim her feet, uh, Bella's feet down, way more um so that her paws don't get so dirty <laughs> dirty i had to actually bathe her when we came back from the walk okay uh oh no they were awful my <laughs> i said oh you can't be like that so they have to be trimmed down before i can take her for another walk and then that way i could just wipe her her paws with lysol baby wipes okay Keep the paws clean in the house. So, if you don't take her out, she goes on her pad. So, that's a good thing, too, that she's trained both ways. <coughs> so, guys, thank you for watching. I love you all. You're here safe, okay? We have to learn our way around. We're in the same boat. Um, she's been around, so she's seen more than I have. Um, so... I'll see you again soon. All right, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all wonderful. Y'all, y'all super, 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 super wonderful. All right. Thank you, guys. And blessings, God, to all of you. And oh, I need prayers for Janice Knight. She had a loss in the family. Okay. She had lost in the family this week, last week. So can you please send prayers to Janice Knight, please? Okay. She's on one of my comments. She comments all the time. And she worries when I disappear and I worry about her. Okay, and she just got over again being sick. And then she had a loss of a loved one. So please leave your prayers for Janice Knight on the comments. Okay, that's all I asked of this video's comments for her. Okay, not for me, for her. All right, I'll see you on another video. Thank you guys. Blessings to all of you.